Abuga Lemuel from Maxwell Preparatory School, Susan Lenoy from St. Mary's Girls Primary School, and Ngene Sasha from Acacia Schools, among the 46 winners of the inaugural First Ladies Mazingira Awards. The winners were fitted at State House Nairobi by the founder and patron First Lady Mama Rachel Ruto. The annual national challenge provides a platform for recognition and appreciation of young people making significant contributions in addressing climate change. In this symphony of earth and man, let's heal the earth from shore to shore, restore our land, secure our fate before it's too late. State House, Nairobi. <laughs> The Maiden First Ladies Mazingira Awards Ceremony. Using poetry, young ones showcase their talents in different forms of art touching on environment and climate change matters. We feel the roughness of eroded soil, the smoothness of polluted water, and the fragility of disappearing species. Under the tagline Mazingira to Jukumuletu, the winners were recognized for the exemplary works in the essay writing, both in English and Swahili categories, painting, drawing, photography, and poetry, among others. First Lady Mama Rachel Ruto highlighted the importance of incorporating the young learners in the climate change conversation. Though you as children are not responsible for the problem of climate action, you bear its heaviest burden. We must see climate change not just as an environmental issue, but as a crisis that directly threatens our children's present and future. With over 1,000 schools participating in the inaugural edition of the First Ladies Mazingira Awards, Mama Rachel called on more institutions to register for the competition to ensure no learner is left behind. I'm focused on amplifying the voice of children in Kenya by advocating for your protection, provision, and participation. Through initiatives like FLAMA, we ensure they become active participants in solutions, not passive observers. This activity of Masingira Award will be aligned to our calendar of events in the education sector. Some of the winners include Moema Janel, Kipsiro Shimain and Anjambi in the English essay category, Ngeni Chepkoet, Joy Jiro Pinyapara Kelo in the English spoken word, and Abdi Karim Ado, Kipruto Ian and Santino Lucky in the painting category. The government is confident that through the involvement of young persons in climate change conversations, the future of Mother Earth is secured and the greening agenda for the country will be a success. Yusufar reporting for Prime Petition at State House. Many thanks, Yusuf Farah. Health Cabinet Secretary Deborah Barasa says there is a need for Kenya to invest in mental health interventions to secure the country's economic fortunes. Barasa says the Kenya's human resources must be provided with a conducive working environment and mental wellness programs to increase productivity.